The issue of proposed regulations for artists has raised a lot of dust from different entertainment circles. Now, leaders of the Federation of Performing Artists met with the Speaker of Parliament today to express their dissatisfaction about how the regulations are being handled. Uh, the only problem we feel that these regulations we were not consulted as a federation. We believe much as they have been put out for people to deliberate on them, to discuss on them, to give their views, we felt it would have been much better if even in drafting we had been consulted. The speaker promised to look into the matter. What I will do, one is to arrange for you, you know we are doing the uh, budget framework paper. I think I want to arrange for you to go and meet the I think let's start with the Committee of Gender, Labor and Social Development, so that uh, they can receive these views and incorporate them in our report. Then when the report is brought, there will be a report to debate it in the House, enrich it and uh, make resolutions. According to Rubaga South MP Katuruwama, who is also the Shadow Minister of Culture, government should deal with the real representatives of the artists when formulating regulations instead of dealing with masqueraders. There have been a lot of people outside there who are masquerading as a uh, federation. They are talking on behalf of the art. So I, I brought people, artists themselves, to talk for themselves and, and assure the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, the speaker that we are with him and we are, we are working for the arts and the, the, the development of arts in the country. Chiboka, however, suggested to the speaker that artists should have their own commissioner in the Ministry of Gender, if not an independent ministry, to cater for their needs. Today we have a commissioner who doubles as the commissioner for family affairs and she's also the commissioner for culture. Her workload is too big because she even handles kingdoms, she handles... Uh, traditional doctors, she handles traditional medicine, she handles uh, fine artists, all falling under her. So we believe that such a powerful industry like the entertainment industry, the minister, the minister should come up with a commissioner who is specifically for performing arts. In future we are going to demand for an independent ministry of creative arts, as we are also going to demand for a member of parliament for our artists. He also called upon government to streamline which ministry they fall under at the moment since many ministries are claiming responsibility over artists. You find that the Ministry of Ethics also puts up a claim that what we do, we go to the public, what we depict, what we do, everything uh, has to follow under them. Then we get the Ministry of Tourism. When tourists come in Uganda, Many of them you find them in Indere Center. When uh, Ugandan artists go outside the country, they portray the good image of the country. So the Ministry of Tourism also puts up a claim. The artists also expressed concern over adverts of local companies being given to foreign artists. When we also have artists, there are times when you hear even the Luganda is not very proper. And we say now, should we also start a move of saying, if you don't use Ugandan artists, don't buy those products. But we find it will be a big blow to those companies. So we request that uh, maybe uh, something is done, maybe the law, so that if you want to advertise in Uganda, use Ugandan artists. We also want that money. The speaker also called for more skilling of the artists. When you talk about improving the skills of the talent, talented people, mm -hmm. I think we may eventually need a school yeah. where they can go and reach the top. So it's really, really very, very important. The artists also called upon government to establish for them a fund to further boost their work. Ali Mivule, NTV. <laughs> 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 <laughs>